Oh my god, I miss this game so much! I really used to play it every single day, but nowadays it kinda dropped from the radar, but now it's finally back with a new update. Pretty much half of the changes interest me personally, because I'm not playing offline, I'm not very into immersive controls, because I have a more competitive side here and analog steering is the best mechanically. But today we'll check out the new track. I'm also curious about new AI. Since the old one wasn't bad by any means, there were certain tricks that you could pull and win every match, but... Maybe that's gonna change, I wonder. And we pretty much have season 2 events, so... Oh, the stargazing season starts on the 8th of December, alright. And it's gonna be pretty much 2 months. Okay, I'll play on Christmas time. I'm gonna be rusty, so I'll play one practice match, just to see the shortcuts and the layout of the map. And then the second round we'll do with matchmaking. It's also my first time on the PC VR version, so the graphics will be upgraded for sure. I think I remember how to play still. So it's a space theme. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, it's an extreme map for sure. It's very wide. Two ways. High gravity? Wow. Flying. It's a lot of upside down, but at the same time you're in space, so it's hard to tell where are you exactly. That's a nice obstacle course. <laughs> it's huge. I wonder if on the standalone is the same level of graphics. I mean, minus the lightning and stuff, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Alright, let's go with the other players. I actually didn't see any shortcuts, which is interesting for an extreme map or any in general. This is like the first time there's just straight road. <laughs> Wait, the bots now like move, which is interesting. Like, it's falsely saying to you that there's our real people. I guess no one's playing at this hour that I'm recording, so... Oh well. Let's see how the AI performs now. <laughs> Oh, you can't drift here, that's interesting. Yeah, because this map doesn't have a shortcut, I have a bad mod for it. I should have the top speed one. And the rocket pack is pretty godly, I assume. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Where's it going? Oh, 
I don't feel like this is an extreme map per se. This is like, you know, a lot of directional things, but... I felt like the initial extreme maps that released alongside the game on the store were really mind-boggling. Ever since then, every map that I've seen was kinda... A lesser version of Extreme 1. I don't know, maybe they classify now differently. On the last map. <laughs> no! <laughs> Since we're on the PC VR version, I wanna check out a map that I know pretty much perfectly and the exact differences in terms of graphics and just some noticeable differences. So, Ideon, it is. Hmm. It's like dust here. <laughs> You're gonna be behind me real fast. <laughs> and it's 300 C as well. <laughs> You're gonna go down. <laughs> this is my favorite. There's a lot of lightning going on. Also some statues. Weren't there before. <laughs> I think I had the fastest time on this map at the time when I was still playing competitively. I actually wish this game would have like, I don't know, a ladder or something. Just some sort of a ranking, like a championship because you could just judge people based on their best time. Come on now, you're gangbanging me? No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to reclaim my throne. <laughs> Money! I'm judging by the leaderboard, the bots use Nitro now, so that's pretty much what's changed, like it's more polished. Not totally sure if it's more difficult, but they act like a real players at least. Well, I'll definitely wait for the stargazing season. I have the cup from the previous event, so I don't see why I wouldn't do that one. <laughs> the map is pretty fun, easy though, so I wonder if the devs will ever create more difficult stuff they released with, but we'll see. At least we have some more variety.